Hello, welcome to another flight. So today we will make an epic flight from Auckland to Queenstown. Uh, presently we are at uh, Gateway 29, uh, where we have a jetway. And uh, today I will share this flight with you. Uh, first of all, I will also show you the f our flight deck uh, of today. So today we will fly um, the Aerosoft Airbus A320. Um, the simulator is prepared to the 3.4.9, and we also have FS2 crew add-on for a multi-crew experience um, with the um, voice activation checklists, and um, we'll also have a GSX as you can see in the outside to do the animations um, surrounding the airplane and today we will we'll also have um, ATC Pro uh, that will allow us to, to, to have an experience of a more realistic um, ATC experience in Preforce CD. Uh, today additionally we will also have uh, sim physics uh, that will give us an extra realistic um, mechanics and physics uh, surrounding the, the airplane. And of course, we will also use uh, FS passengers um, like I do in all the flights. So, as you so in the beginning we are in the turnaround um, state but I will reset everything in order to show you for those that don't know how to start everything from scratch in detail. Today I will present you uh, my new version of checklist okay so Please make sure that uh, you will use this checklist which is changed um, for the flight simulator and to use with these add-ons. So the idea of this checklist is to try to make it um, the flight more realistic as possible and also to, to make sure um, that we use all the features of Prepare 3D. Okay, so we will start here. Um, these things I already have done, so I will check if everything it's okay. Actually, so state this is something that we will do now. Here, we will in main page. You will have aircraft state, and we will load cool dark. Additionally we have to switch parking brake on because normally socks are set and um, today we will load sim physics so I'm lo loading that now And I also will load the network for Global Weather Network. ATC Pro, uh, today I will use another computer, a laptop, uh, to have ATC Pro. And um, from that computer I will have a remote experience uh, to have our ATC. So the flight plan itself I already created. Um, like I show you in some other videos. So I will proceed immediately to the safety inspection. So internal lights are not required, lockbook was checked, thrust levers are idle, master engines are off, and engine mode it's normal. The parking brakes are set, gear lever is down, and wipers are off. So with this we can start to doing our cockpit preparation. Um, pro 
probably you will also notice that we have um, a new upper high resolution um, textures and you will notice that the bottoms are a little bit more realistic so today we will we'll activate the batteries because power it's upper than 25.5 volts which is good and if we have external power available we will connect it and we have so probe window widths are auto which means that they are off anti-ice are off fuel pumps are off and the internal lights we'll use at this position so this is the map and navigation display and we uh, will also put sorry not these ones but these ones in upper ecamp and lower ecamp okay the MCDUs are also on and we will turn on the smoking sign okay here um, we'll just make a test uh, I will adjust here this check okay to here okay and um, we'll perform the APU fire test okay so now we can perform the APU master on now we have flap open so we can start the APU now we will check our APU uh, to have 400 Hertz have 100% you can also monitor the exhaustance exhaust gas temperature and in general you can check that everything is in green everything is normal okay check that we are going to everything green so now we have our APU running so we will start air condition from our APU once our engines are off today we will use a uh, low pack flow and we should at this point also check the ecam to the recall and status to check if there is any failures in the aircraft and we don't have it's also also good to know to check the hydraulics quantity everything it's okay and also the oil engine quantity everything it's green about 15 uh, liters of oil so everything is perfect so now we will do the cockpit preparation scan and cockpit preparation scan in upper panel it's done in three parts first part it's this left side and then we'll pass to the center part and then to the right part and then we'll do another things in the rest of the other panels so here in the left side we need to check that wipers are off here everything it's okay for emergency the oxygen oxygen masks are also okay here in records we can do some tests to check if record it's um, available we can also turn on record ground GPWS everything it's on emergency power not needed at this point the evacuation everything it's also working flight controls all on AD 
our inertial reference systems are off so I uh, will turn the inertial reference system 1 nav on battery now the third nav on battery and now the second nav on battery so this will start the accelerometers that uh, will detect all the accelerations in aerpl airplane and for those accelerations it will detect the speeds and by the speeds it will detect the position uh, where we are at any moment uh, in the flight at central part will arm signs seat belts and nav lights now here everything it's okay APU bleeds was set it up before and in electric part there is just an additional check that we will perform we will disconnect the batteries and check that the batteries are not available and not charging which is good now we'll connect them again and we'll check that everything becomes normal but batteries are not charging because they are already at maximum power which is 28 volts so everything is okay we can also check at this point that our external power um, is providing the electricity to our aircraft and our APU is just uh, providing the bleed okay for our air condition so at this point we will turn on both uh, fuel pumps from left wing and both fuel pumps from center tank and both fuel pumps from right wing so here at hydraulic we'll set the electric pump and you can check here that the brakes are pressuring and our hydraulic system will have to achieve 3000 psi okay we have everything at maximum pressure so right now our brakes are, are actually uh, doing the pressure or the aircraft so this is very important in order to allow us to remove the chocks uh, that are preventing the aircraft from um, moving slightly uh, during the, the boarding of our passengers and cargo and loading the cargo so once this press, uh, pressurization of um, hydraulic system is done we can turn it off again now we will test both engines I can see here in multiple monitors that um, let me try to sh show you you'll see that you have a fault in the engine and here you have the engine that have the fault and then you can repeat to the other check also the engine page with the fault and here also the fire warning test was done and now we check the initiator panel we check that all the lights are working so the the test is done at the right side we should also check the wipers are off the engine main starts are off ventilation it's okay cargo smoke ventilators are not needed and flight controls are on and here um, everything is set because there are some things here in uh, especially here in this part that are not working in the airsoft uh, simulator so now we will pass to here um, to the console page and we'll turn on the radio and in main screen we just need to make sure that anti-skid are on and flight directory are on so for now these are 
the main checks. The last one, it will be here at uh, flight management system. We'll check the data. Okay, so we are using this one and this is um, what it's aligned with all add-ons like ATC Pro uh, also this one and also with Flight Simulator so it's very important that everything is aligned with same charts in order to have misinformation uh, between the approaches and seeds and stars and everything like that after that check we will also align our inertial reference system and for now it's everything that we should do at this point so we will start the cockpit preparation pre uh, procedures with FS2 crew uh, if you don't have FS2 crew you should perform these things that I was saying and describing before if you have okay you can just start FS2 crew and the co-pilot will perform this cockpit preparation scan for you. Hi there, Captain. How are you today? I am great. And you? So, after this, what we will do is request a train. Okay. And once we request uh, catering, we will open the doors for catering here on this page. So, like you know, it's Control F12 to request catering at GSX, and we'll use the default choice. Okay, so at this moment, we'll have some outside activity or we will have soon <coughs> so for now we, we can have this uh, view of the outside of the airplane it's nice to check uh, what is happening surrounding the airplane to have an idea special for you here in my side um, I have this view in another monitor which is a better to, to check in, in a big screen what is happening surrounding the airplane okay so we are requesting catering we are checking catering and we will open the doors for them as you will see in the animation that doors are opening and they can start the catering optionally you can also open the doors only when the the platform it's arriving which is uh, what is done in reality okay so at this step at this point we'll perform the actual checklist so all the things that were done before were done and now we will check in the cockpit preparation checklist that everything was done and it was correct cockpit preparation checklist batteries both on electrical power APU on navigation lights on Engine master. Both off. Engine mode selector. Checked normal. Landing gear lever. Checked. Parking brake. On. Flaps. Checked position. Speed brake lever. Checked retracted. Thrust levers. Idle. Transponder mode. Checked standby. Radio control panel. On. Ecam recall. Checked. Anti skid. On. Flight director. On. Emergency lights. Checked and armed. No smoking signs. On. Anti-ice. Off. Probe window heat. Auto. Air condition. Checked. Ventilation panel. 
is checked. Electric panel. Checked. Fuel pumps. On. Hydraulics. Is checked. Accubrate pressure. Checked. Ground proximity warning system. On. Electronic flight control system. On. Adhere's. Checked. Emergency equipment. Is checked. Checklist complete. Okay, this is very important uh, for you to understand that everything in aviation you should do and check. So that is the purpose of checklists. So now our catering is done. Uh, we can close the doors. We received the beep from GSX to announce that it was done so we are clear to close the doors and they will start the animation of leaving the platform okay at this point after um, the cockpit preparation we'll do an extra thing which is a uh, disconnect the engine to bleed because we will not use it uh, during the taxi okay it and this is something that we will turn on only after takeoff. So um, now at this point we should have or we can be uh, at this moment and when we uh, didn't achieve we can just run the time a little bit faster. Okay I'm out for the walk around okay at this point our first officer will check the emergency equipment will check also the level of rain repellent he will also check the circuit breaker panels which is even above of the this upper panel uh, if you move the camera a little bit upper like I show you to you in another videos he will also check the gear pins and covers and then he will perform the external work around walk around check if you don't know what is the external walk around check you can have um, this diagram that will show you uh, what is done so it will start from this point and then there are some key parts of the airplane uh, and some panels of the airplane that you need to check so we'll perform this okay these walk arounds there are several things to check in the panels in the gears in the engines in the slots in the flaps and also in the main gear and also at the elevators and then again do the same thing at gear and flaps and slots and engine and again in the panels and then you will check also uh, the front gear and then at this point after all these checks the walk around is, is done so uh, then we will calculate the, the fuel okay um, this was done before uh, but I will show you so what I use to do the calculations is to use uh, 30 minutes for taxi which is 15 minutes to take off and 15 minutes um, to our airport in the arrival so in the APU I am also using 30 minutes because as you saw in the beginning I started the APU um, in the beginning of the 30 minutes before the flight uh, because Aerosoft uh, flight simulator um, for this Airbus i320 doesn't have the simulation of external um, air condition okay so we need to turn on the APU in order to have the air condition that by the way you can check the temperatures here and if uh, we didn't have uh, the air condition we 
didn't have these temperatures so which means that we didn't have the temperature to allow our, our passengers to enter in the airplane so um, of course we need always to have 30 minutes for a hold 30 minutes for a contingency uh, which is 5% of trip or minimum 30 minutes uh, and then for final reserve which is something that the company can define which is in this case I will use this one so I already check with you how to do the calculate of the fuel uh, for this simulator in another videos I will skip this part and I will tell you that um, for this flight we will use 10 tons of fuel and we will order the fuel now um, actually I have a recent update for this GSX fuel truck um, and it will come so the truck is somewhere out there coming let's take a look oh it is coming close this door and then the fuel truck will go to a position that was defined before for this aircraft and now is asking for us to refuel which is in this case it's a customer uh, custom refueling because we want to have this quantity of fuel okay because this is 10 tons of fuel that it was required to this flight so in this case we had a fast animation but um, if you don't do a, a customer, uh, you will see, let's say, uh, the refuel itself and you can check the gallons entering in, in the airplane in this case. Uh, and it's a very nice thing to do. But in this case I made it a little bit faster. And now it's going away. So, where we are? We are here. So, if we have the fuel on board, we need to say to the Aerosoft that we have the fuel. And it detected the fuel, but we need to enter the value in order to have this green. So, which means that the fuel is actually loaded and set it up to the simulator itself. Okay. I'm back from the walk around. Everything looks good. Great. So at this point, uh, we should have the new board with all shards, and we should do this. Okay. So set up in Pro ATC, import the flight and load the flight, and then choose the option Fly Now. I will do that now. In this case I'm using a separated computer but you can also use in same
Okay, once you press the fly now in ATC, you should come here and switch from ATC to ATC. This is something that you should check. The wind. Yes. Hey, Captain. The agents want to start sending people out. Can we start boarding? Yes. Okay. I'll let them know. Okay, like I was saying, this is something that you should always do. Uh, check the 80s wind, gnh, temperature, runway, and barrel ref. Okay, and do the set. I'll show to you also an alternative way to do it. Okay. You also have this information here in the original um, ATC menus and you can use it. So today we will have a very low pressure. So we have 984. Okay. And you can take a note of the winds, runway, also. So today we have wind from 046 at uh, 12 knots. The visibility it's 10, which is great. 10 kilometers. Sky condition, it's no clouds below 20,000 feet. And temperature, it's 31. And you point, it's 25 degrees. And right now, the runway in use, it's 5R. And this is the runway that we will use to take off. And then we, we will use this runway. And um, for now, you should also take a note and don't forget to set also the standby altimeter with the same pressure of the air today. Okay, nine, eight, four. It's done. At this step, we should also use the FS passengers here. So we are loading all passengers, all cargo available. Fuel was already set it before. Our destination will be this one. Destination set. And I, <coughs> I will use seven minutes. Engine instrument check flight control check and set. start flight. Okay, now we need to request also in GSX uh, the boarding. And the animation itself for the boarding of passengers and cargo will also start. Yes. And of course, that in order to have passengers boarding in both uh, doors, we need to operate the Chatway. Okay, so as soon as all the passengers are bored, then we need to set up uh, these loads. This is you can do this if you use instant boarding, but if you don't do instant boarding, um, you should set this always in the end of boarding, which you can check here in FS passengers. So in FMS, here we will set up our flight that today will be from Auckland International Airport to Queenstown. 
which is a small airport. Okay, probably some of you will note that is this airport uh, it's shorter than what it should be for the Airbus A320. Uh, yes, it is, but those values are only valid for maximum weight. So today we'll fly in the limit in the limit of the weight. Um, that we can have in order to operate in this destiny airport so that's why in start um, of this flight I said that we will have an epic flight because it will be actually a very nice uh, flight with very nice views at this wonderful New Zealand so in this case I already set it up before and this will be our flight plan that was used uh, using the PFPX okay also that I demonstrated before in another videos okay for the alternative airport let me check here in my laptop uh, where I have professional flight planner X. Uh, also, make sure that you should use exactly the same air data uh, in professional flight planner, in Aerosoft, and also here in Preforce City. I will also take the opportunity to to load here the flight plan. is 3 and then you can check here it's a very short route okay no thank you and this will allow us to check here in the navigation log, log our flight so I choose this flight exactly because it's very small and you can check and double check everything in detail ok so our flight number um, will be checked soon because we'll, at this point we will request the clearance uh, You can also check here, in case if you didn't notice, transponder code, it's correct, then you should set the sign uh, first altitude after takeoff, you should also check this line, <coughs> ok, and now and later we will use also this information to other settings, for now I will let it here okay so now you know that our flight number it's TAP 7374 for t today 
and our cost index will be 50 for today and as you noticed today we will fly at this flight level uh, the tropo balls uh, you can also check in an external link that I checked before and today we will have this one Okay, and for our alternative airport, today we'll have exactly the same. Yes. Okay, so now at page 2, we'll use the taxi, uh, but I'll put here a small correction and block like you saw we have fuel on board 10 tons okay now initial fuel prediction was done and we will have at destiny estimated 5 tons dot 8 of fuel perfect today we'll take off with flap 2 and up 2.0 Okay, so we should set up immediately this in order to allow us not to forget. Okay, two. So it's done. We'll use also flat flex temperature of 60 degrees, which means that we will not take off with maximum power available because it's not necessary. So we will just use takeoff power in flex. Great. Performance is done. Now we'll go to the flight plan. So the flight plan it's all the points <coughs> in our flight plan and using all the numbers that were proposed in the beginning by the our planner and what we will just here do it's that we will update the, the runway and we will update the star that will be used will be this one really strange that it's not available So I will just keep it as it is and at least in arrival uh, in the arrival then at some point I will uh, change to VFR but nevertheless we'll enter what is expected right now 23H ok it's this one so it's set it up. So let's check everything again. We need to remove the flight plan discontinuity. Okay. And also here in our alternative flight plan. Okay, what you see here, this blue line, these blue lines, yes. Captain, the cabin is secure. All passengers are aboard. Thank you. Uh, in case of a missing approach, uh, this is the points that we need to perform if we miss our landing. And this is the alternative flight plan to return to our initial airport in case uh, of some catastrophic failure of the airport, if the airport is closed or if we have a bad weather or something like that. Okay, so everything is ready, we'll return now to the checklist. And we performed all these steps. Um, I also checked this with you. You can always check here at this point that we have more than 
few, few on board to arrival that bigger than 3500 so we have the enough fuel to perform this operation but please don't forget okay whoops okay it's 4.2 uh, which is the corrected corrected cargo for this and it's one seven four okay at this point you should press load instance okay and then now we have the real uh, loads in the aircraft Captain, I have your load and balance sheet here for you. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Captain. Have a nice flight and I'll be seeing you later. Bye. -bye. You okay, so at this point, we should also load this I performed before, like you saw, and we also requested the IFR clearance, so everything is set. Also, the altitude was set. Time to perform all the settings and initial maximum speed below 10,000 feet. Okay. We are in time to perform our takeoff briefing. Okay, seat, flaps, dry, not required, packs will be off today. Are you ready for the takeoff brief? Go ahead. Okay, we have no MEL issues today. I will be the pilot flying. It will be a standard takeoff using NADP-1 and we will be flexing to 6, 0 degrees. We will use config 2 for takeoff. Runway condition is dry. As for anti-ice, it's not required. The packs will be off for an unpressurized takeoff. We'll use standard calls today. At or below 100 knots, I'll reject for any warnings. Below V1, I will only reject for an engine failure, a fire of any kind, a configuration warning, or anything I deem will adversely affect the safety of the aircraft. I will reject the takeoff by calling stop, if you could, monitor that the auto brakes have activated and that the spoilers have deployed. Once we stop, if there's a fire, I'll position that side of the aircraft to be downwind and we'll evacuate through the open side. I'll advise the cabin and you talk to ATC. Above V1, we'll take the aircraft into the air and sort it out there and decide if we need to return to the airfield. If you notice anything amiss during the takeoff roll, Please notify me. Any questions? Okay, that's uh, checked and no questions. Takeoff brief complete. Okay, once we have takeoff briefing complete, we should turn on the beacon, uh, which means that we are about to do the pushback and start our engines. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please disconnect external power. Uh, Roger. Disconnecting the GPU. You can check here the GPU. In the animation will disappear and also that uh, here the external power it's turned off and you should also check that here ground service Actually, the GPU is now disconnected thank you uh, 
Uh, ground to cockpit. Go ahead. Alright, Captain, we're removing the jetway now. Okay. Before star checklist. Windows and doors. Closed and locked. APU. APU on. APU bleed. On. External power. Disconnected and off. Cabin signs. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Bearer reference. Checked. Nine eight four. Nine eight. Four. Check. Beacon lights. On. Checklist complete. Okay, so checklist was complete. Alright guys, everyone seated. We're all buttoned up and ready to go in the back. Thanks. If you need anything, just let me know. Okay. And... I will end this first part of this video now and we will continue in another video um, with the next checklist.